Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna talk about whether there was a robbery at Spain Pro or there wasn't. Now it's been an entire day since this show ended, but that's how long it took me to wrap my head around this and to figure out how Regan could have won this show and try and prove that there are no politics in bodybuilding. I mean, there's been a long time since a robbery, an actual robbery happened in the past, I don't know, couple of years. The judging has been never better, really. Like, all the decisions seemed fair. Nobody had a complaint for a long, long time. Even at the Mr. Olympia, instead of choosing a perfect American golden boy, Derek Lansford, they chose Hari Chupan, who's from Iran, who doesn't even use social media, who doesn't even speak English. They chose him to be the best bodybuilder in the world, the Mr. Olympia, the representation of all bodybuilding, just because he deserved it, he had a better body, he was a better bodybuilder, and there were no politics at Mr. Olympia, however, the smaller shows, lately guys, honestly, for a couple of years, they have all been judged perfectly, nobody had any complaints, until now until today now if you look at the comment sections of all posts about his show of all posts that regan made that nathan made everybody is saying something about this i mean like 90 percent of people are saying that nathan was robbed that there was an obvious robbery that regan was gifted this victory that nathan deserved it that's what probably 90 percent of people are saying however there is a small minority of people who are saying that either that it was very close or that regan deserved it but who the hell knows who are those people random people commenting on instagram i do care about what professional bodybuilders what people with expertise have to say about this and most of them very big majority of them would agree that nathan should have won this show if you guys watched my previous video about the prejudging of this show i had nathan winning this show pretty easily like i made it seem like it was kind of close i did say that it was much closer than the previous show than italy it was definitely closer because regan was a little bit fuller which made him seem like he was a little bit sharper you know harder but was he better than nathan i definitely didn't see it that way now i i gotta preface this whole thing this whole video by saying that i, I wanted to see regan win not because i'm a fan of regan i watch his social media or his youtube channel or anything like that not really i, I don't really follow the guy as far as his look like yeah he has an aesthetic physique pretty much but i'm not really a huge fan of regan i mean like his structure is good and all that but what nick walker basically said he's an instagram bodybuilder which means he's not really like all the way into bodybuilding he has a life which i completely understand i also have a life i'm not willing to put everything i have into bodybuilding however if i had what regan has his genetics and being at the spot where he's already at i would go all out bodybuilding even a couple of years ago he had an opportunity to stay at the auction gym in kuwait and like really just just focus on progressing and he couldn't do that he couldn't handle it mentally and i understand that maybe i couldn't handle it i don't know but like there are guys like nick walker for example who are willing to do whatever it takes and those are the guys that i'm a fan of so as far as regan goes I'm not one of those fanboys, as far as like Nathan versus Regan, I like Nathan more, but I wanted to see Regan do well and win because he's coached by Milo Sarcev, Milo Sarcev is from Serbia, I know him personally, even if I didn't know him personally, and even if he wasn't from Serbia, I just love to listen to the guy on podcast, he's so passionate about bodybuilding, it's crazy and so knowledgeable and all that, and very successful as a coach lately, especially lately, I mean, he was always a good coach, so of course I want to see him succeed seed as a coach and therefore i wanted to see regan win this show and do well and he did win he did well but like do i agree with his decision did i see him winning i definitely didn't see him winning when i was watching the pre-judging but do i see now what could be the reason for why he won the show well he did have one really strong point that probably led him to the victory he had a very very strong social media just kidding but there is that probably it's, it's a thing it's definitely a thing 
Like, he has 1.9 million followers. And how many Nathan Diasha has? Only 100,000. And he's already qualified for Mr. Olympia. And he's probably not even gonna go, because he probably can't get to the US because of his legal issues. And Regan, if he didn't win this show, or like the next one, maybe he wouldn't go to the Mr. Olympia. There aren't too many opportunities left to qualify. And if he is going to the Mr. Olympia, and he's posting about it regularly, on his Instagram, on his YouTube channel, talking about, you know, going to the Mr. Olympia, more people are likely to buy tickets, to buy a live stream, and go and watch their favorite bodybuilder, Regan Grimes. So, from a business perspective, it totally makes sense to give this victory to him, if it is kinda close. It just needs to be kinda close. If he was supposed to be, like, fifth, they wouldn't give it to him. If he was supposed to be second, then, you know, maybe they can get away with it. So, I don't know if this is actually what happened, uh, Paul Ozon, who is an IBB judge, he was asked on, on, on Fuad's uh, YouTube channel, you can watch that video, guys. He was asked, is that something the judges consider? And he didn't say it's not, because, of course, he doesn't know all the judges. But he says, in my opinion, that should never be something that you should consider. So, it probably does happen here and there. I mean, after all, bodybuilding, IBB Pro League, MPC, that's all a business. It's a show business, it's a business, it's about making money. And, I mean, I hope it's not all about making money, but mainly, it's a business. It's definitely a business. And Regan Grimes is good business. The other possibility, the other reason why Regan would have won this show is because he looked that much different in person than he looks on these super high quality photos. But I talked to quite a few people who were there at the show and they said everybody who was there had Nathan winning. And you guys, if you watch the live stream, you probably heard the, the audience booing everybody was booing and nathan was in shock on stage he was he was telling the audience like this is not right i want this show and he wouldn't react the way he react if he didn't have the support of the audience if everybody if everybody was like yeah sure cool whatever then i'm sure he would just accept it but like he didn't see uh, what he looked like ne next to regan he probably saw a couple of photos from a phone but he didn't see he probably got the impression he was going to win based on the audience and also based on the, the, the other competitors. Because when Regan won, the competitors couldn't hide it. They were all looking at each other. You know, you, you, you could see it. You could definitely notice that everybody was confused. Nobody, nobody could understand why this happened. And me personally, I was just as shocked as everybody else. Now, I gotta say one more thing, once again, because Regan is coached by Milos, I gotta say that Regan was definitely at his absolute best ever. So whatever Milos Archov is doing, he is killing it with Regan, like, he looked better than ever, bigger than ever, fuller than ever, probably more conditioned than ever, but conditioning wasn't great, he could have been sharper, but Milos knows that, like, Regan doesn't have that size to sacrifice any muscle, any fullness, if he wants to win these shows against these big guys like Nathan, he needs to come in as big as possible and just conditioned enough. Which is a tactic that Milos has with uh, Samson, and it, you know, got him the Mr. O actually the Arnold Classic victory, and now potentially it's gonna get him Mr. Olympia win. So, you need to calculate these things. Uh, Hani Rambo did the same thing with uh, Hari Chopin last year. I mean, Hari was not super shredded like he was usually the past couple of years, but he was bigger and fuller, and he won. He won the show, so it worked. And I think it worked with Regan here, too. If he was more shredded, he would probably lose even more fullness in the legs, he would probably lose even more fullness in the arms and the chest, and like all of his weak points would seem weaker. Sure, he would look better from the back, like his glutes would be sharper, hamstrings and back, but he was already winning the back poses, and his conditioning was fine, so as far as uh, his conditioning, his shape at his show, it was good. So once again, like Milos prepped him the best way that he could. Was there anything that could lead me to believe that maybe Regan actually deserved this? Well, let's take a look. So, first of all, we got the front double bicep. I'm not gonna go through all the poses. You can watch my previous video. I did a very deep analysis, pose for pose, in my pre-judging video. 
But let's do this real quick. So, like, first throwable bicep, like, this is the pose that Nathan wins by a mile. And this is basically, I'm gonna tell you here why Regan should not have won this show. So, like, here you can see a couple of body parts that are just, like, much, much superior on Nathan. First of all, legs. Just look at the legs. I mean, I don't think I need to go through the entire quadricep muscle and, like, show you, look at the vastus medialis teardrop, how big it is, look at the adductors, like, how bigger Nathan's adductors are, I mean, even the outer sweep, uh, even the rectus femoris, the details inside of the, of the leg, like, I don't think it's necessary, just look at the legs, one pair of legs, the other, big difference, huge difference, and also, like, waist to, to upper body muscle ratio, and even the legs, like, maybe, maybe Regan structurally has, like, a smaller waist, but with the muscularity he has, it looks wider, it looks bigger than Nathan's, because Nathan is just popping everywhere else, like, legs are popping, shoulders, arms, chest, everything, lats. So pay attention to, for example, chest, like, look at the lower part of the chest and the inner part, basically the entire chest, like, how thicker Nathan's chest is, it's much, much thicker than Regan's, like, Regan's is so flat, Nathan's chest is like super thick, super, super full uh, and round, and also look at the biceps then, like big, big difference. I mean, I don't think we really need to go muscle for muscle, we can just pay attention to the entire physique and you will notice how much more dense, thick muscle Nathan actually has and like how much sharper and harder he is and how balanced and complete and everything. I think Nathan was miles ahead of Regan, honestly. Now, as far as Regan's strong points, like you could say that he has a better structure, but I don't even know about that, really. I mean, in the, you know, in the poses, when they hit the poses, I mean, with the muscularity that Regan has, Maybe his structure would be better if he was bigger, if he had, if he packed more muscle on that frame. But the way it is right now, like I like Nathan's structure more. I mean, I know he has like very long torso, but you don't really see it in the poses. Like he knows how to hide it or whatever. Like I, I don't really see a big difference in structure. I don't really see Regan as this super aesthetic, classic physique uh, bodybuilder. You know, I, I don't really see it anymore. So, in this lineup, I don't think Regan really has a better structure, but let's say he does, let's give him that, I mean, yeah. Then the other thing that he wins, in my opinion, is back poses, like, he did win those two, because he just had more muscle uh, in, in the lats, and he was probably wider, and like, had like lower inserted lats, and maybe bigger uh, hamstrings, was he more conditioned than Nathan? Absolutely not, but he did have like better developed uh, hamstrings and adductors from behind, and also he had a better and bigger back. So I'll give him back double bicep and back lat spread, and that's where it stops. Maybe you could give him abs and thighs, because I think Nathan was even fuller here than he was at Italy, but because of that his abs were a little bit, like having a little bit of a film uh, all over them, and they didn't look as hard, as separated as they did in Italy, and I think Regan's uh, abs, now that he was fuller, they looked like harder, and just the way this pose flows for Regan, I could give him this one, but most muscular, side chest, side tricep, front double bicep, uh, front lat spread, I would give all those poses to Nathan, and I would give them those poses by a mile, like from the back it's close, but let's say Regan wins by, by a little, as far as the front pose and the side poses, I think Nathan wins by a long shot. So, personally, I don't see how could have Regan won this show. There is a lot of fuzz about this out there. Everybody seems to be talking about this. Everybody is confused. And I wish that Tyler Mannion makes a video about this and tries to explain this. But, to be completely honest, I don't think he should do it. Because... I don't think this is explainable, <laughs> I mean, if he tries, and, and he tells us some BS, then he would lose all of the integrity, and that's not a good thing, definitely not for IBB right now, I mean, after he did all the explanation and made all those videos, that was really, really awesome, if he tries to defend this, which I don't see how could he defend this, I do not see how could he make a case for Regan winning, 
I mean, if he's really confident about it and he really trusts the judges who were judging there and this is really what should have happened, there were no politics involved, then yeah, sure, try it. But yeah, I, I don't think I don't think it's explainable. I don't think I don't think this was realistic. I don't think uh, Regan really deserved to win this show. So I, I think Tyler should just you know skip this one, just ignore it, let it pass. It's just one of many European shows. It will be forgotten, and Nathan is gonna win the France. Yeah, he announced he's doing that show as well. He's not giving up. Uh, and maybe they will punish him for, for reacting the way he reacted here and just not let him win again. But I don't think so. I think they will give it to him. They will have to. Like They, they, they robbed him once. I don't think they will do it twice. So, yeah. That's that's how I can see it. Like There is no other way I can look at this. I mean, Regan had more followers and he wasn't qualified. And, you know, bodybuilding is a business. Uh, once again, Milos brought him in his best, absolute best package ever. He could have done a better job, but did he deserve to win this? I just don't see it. I didn't even see any explanation from anybody else, really. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, why? Why do you do you see why Regan was better than Nathan? You can tell me down below. I can see there are people who believe that, but like, I didn't see any compelling arguments so far. So. If there is an explanation, I would like to hear somebody somebody competent like Tyler Mannion explain it. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know down below in the comment section. Let me hear it. But personally, right now, I just don't see it. In my head, Nathan won this show hands down. Anyways, guys, whatever you think about this, once again, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.